can just the the role that you've kind of carved yourself out in the bottom six at, at center you've had different line mates at different times and it seems torts has been able to trust you to play with different players because talk about the the role and the impact you've had down there playing with several different players max domi most recently yeah i know you know there's a lot of guys that can play in this lineup and it's going to be changing um you know whether we're winning losing injuries and so for me it's just trying to be as constant and as uh as steady as possible and every time someone is put on my line they kind of know what to expect from me and and the coaching staff knows what they're going to get out of me um so it definitely hasn't been easy at times but uh over the course of your career you kind of slowly start to figure it out and uh, you know it's one thing that i try and take pride in is, is being accountable and ready to play every night and I know what, um, when you first got here, you, there were some adjustments you had to do, and there are several new players this year that are going through the same adjustments. Have you been able to help them in any way get acclimated to what's expected? Well, it, it's hard because, you know, it, for me, it was uh, playing different systems, um, different philosophies, and nothing is natural at, at the beginning. You need, it to, uh, you need to get some games. You need to get some reps under your belt where – your mind stops thinking as much and it, and it just becomes second nature. So um, I think the guys so far have done a pretty good job of that. Uh, and it just takes a little bit of time and, and reps. Unfortunately, we only have 56 games this, this season. So hopefully uh, it happens faster than it did for me. But it um, seems like they've been transitioning fairly well. And, you know, we just try and help out. And like I said, being as being as uh, stable in the middle as as possible it allows them to hopefully think less and just play their game a little bit more. Next, we're going to Dave Metzl. Go ahead, Matsy. Best question, Dave. Thanks. Matsy. He didn't, he didn't give me the unmute button. That's not on me. Um, you unmute on your own. <laughs> it's got to pop up. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, yeah. Torch was just a, talking, and I guess it's a theme all season long here, Riley, about how different it is and the things you guys can't do to bond as teammates and just buddies off the ice or ever. And that underscores a night like last night or a night where when you guys score six, just how much do you draw out of that in terms of, oh, man, we could kind of just relax and enjoy just being hockey players and teammates for a brief time. Is it magnified this year when you get something like last night, get those opportunities? Yeah, I think it's not not as much last night because everyone's pretty, pretty happy, jolly. Everyone's good going home. I think it's a little bit harder when, you know, after Carolina where we didn't have our best effort, um, maybe you lose one or two in a row and uh, just the overall mood gets down a little bit. You, you don't have those those times where you've been through, you've had dinners, you've gotten to know one another really well. You've had maybe a night or two out where you had some fun and, and the camaraderie is, is, at, uh, is at a high. So it's hard because can't really draw on those experiences. So it just makes it all that more important while we're at the rink to, to, you know, obviously stay six feet apart and be safe, but, but also um, reach out and chat and, and get to know one another and, and everybody get on the same page and um, kind of rely on one another to, to bring that fun out while we're at the rink. But the morale that comes from a win is, has got to be magnified. I would imagine just because you can maybe enjoy it more than, you know, I don't know why don't you tell me. It's, you know, you enjoy every win, uh, obviously. Yeah. Um, the guys definitely do. It would be nice to go out and, you know, if we have a day off tomorrow or, or when you have a day off, have a couple couple pops and just enjoy it and, and relax and um, have that good good feeling carry on to the next day and your next practice. And I think that's um, probably the biggest thing is, you know, it's a little bit harder to carry on that momentum. Um, you know, you, you don't get to spend as much time as we would like together. So um, it's just, uh, you know, every team's going to deal with it. We've done a pretty good job of it, I think, so so far, because our, our COVID cases have been relatively low, uh, knock on wood. But, um, yeah, it's just it's just an issue that every team's going to have to deal with. Next, we go to Brian Hedger. Go ahead, Hedge. Hey, uh, thanks, Todd. Thanks, Riley. Uh, allow me to take it to the negative, you know, what I do best. Um, if, we're going to talk about the, just the defensive zone play here in a second. Uh, I mean, how frustrating has it been for you guys this year to, I don't know, I guess it, it kind of feels like teams are, are 
doing to you guys what you usually do to other teams, uh, you know, preventing you from getting out of the defensive zone and getting into transition. Has that been a – how frustrating has that been so far to kind of deal with that? I think there's certain nights, you know, I, we were kind of talking about scoring more goals and then you maybe take a little bit of focus away from your own end. So I think getting back to that principle of, of being a hard team to play against, not giving up a ton of great A chances, not giving up a ton of shots, getting clean out of our end zone, uh, not spending much time there. I think that's definitely been an emphasis lately. It's also hard when you're playing a new system for a lot of guys in the D zone. You know, we have some some unique uh, characteristics to ours. So it's it's not going to be as smooth as everyone wants it to be right off the hop. But um, you hope that transition period is as short and as possible. And I think guys are starting to, starting to see that. And, you know, my, maybe it takes a... A night like in Carolina where we give up seven goals and uh, you can show a lot of video and a lot of teaching and, and to really hammer that home. And we know that feeling that we don't want it to happen again. So guys are really locking in on that. So I um, thought we did a pretty good job of it last night. Um, you know, we're, we are up. So that obviously gives them a little bit more offense and they're shooting a little bit more and, and we might not be as as offensively thinking as much offensively. So. I think that kind of played into the, the shots and all that last night, but uh, I thought overall we did a pretty good job of just giving them minimal amount of ch chances and not too many great days. And then last night's uh, goal uh, for for Max, you know that whole play. How nice was it, or how how fun is it, I guess, to uh, you know have a set play like that work out pretty much how exactly how you want it to go. Yeah, it's. You know, I think that's one of our things we've been trying to emphasize lately is um, when you're in the offensive zone, have a plan. Um, you know, you have the scouting reports, so you know what might work against uh, the other team. And we had run that one earlier in the year. I was going to the net instead. I was popping in case um, Domes wasn't as open as he was, then I would, I'd be open for a one-timer as well from him. So uh, it was a little bit of a roller coaster there when the linesman was – saying that it might have went off them or whatever. So it's, uh, um, you know, it's just nice that in the end, they got the, they got the call right. Next one to Justin Bull. Go ahead, Jeff. Uh, thanks, Todd. Thanks, uh, Riley. <laughs> You're kind of the veteran right now at center. Uh, the guys that are playing that position with you, Jack and Tex and Kevin are just so young. First of all, is there a little bit of uh, importance of you just kind of being the, the responsible veteran there, but are there also things you can do to help bring those guys along and kind of teach them and just kind of point things out to them as they are trying to learn the position and at the NHL level? Yeah, I think they, they have a lot of, a lot of feedback right now from the coaching staff. Um, <laughs> you know, their wingers just, just being a little bit younger and, and uh, you know, two games ago, giving up the goals that we did. Um, so they, they have a lot on their plate already. If they, if they have anything, uh, I know I was out there, uh, working with Jack a little bit after practice today on his face-offs, just uh, getting him to bear down a little bit more so his wingers can get the puck a little bit more. So I think that'll be uh, something to watch for tomorrow night. He might be snapping them back. But, uh, yeah, if they if they have things that they, they want to chat about, I'm, I'm definitely there. I, I don't know everything, and I can just kind of use my experience of, you know, when I was younger and I was going through that process and trying to help them out and, um, giving them little pointers here, and that's that that helps them. The Riley Ness School of Faceoffs, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I'm not a very great faceoff guy right now either, but <laughs> you know, you got to work on it. It's a never-ending craft. For sure. Thanks, Riley. Last one will go to Dave Metzl. Go ahead, Metzl. Uh, just real quick, you were plus three last night, Riley. How how close do players pay attention to plus minus after a good night or bad night? Uh, I think it's one of those stats that, you know, it doesn't really tell the whole story. I think, I think stats in general tell just a little, maybe a picture of, you know, a whole video. Um, it's obviously nice. If, the more you're on the ice for goals for, that means you're probably creating and generating a little bit more offense, but it might not necessarily be tied directly to your game. So I think, um, I think for me, it's more getting shots, creating chances, what did I create um, firsthand instead of, you know, not even being, you know, I was, I hopped on late for one of the goals and, and one was an empty nurse. So it's, I don't know, it's a, it's a stat that guys will look at, but I don't know if there's a whole lot of weight behind it.